so difficult, and I don't know why. Oh, and also I just cannot do the, uh, the one cycle on the boss of chapter two, like the, the one freeze, I just, I don't know, I, it must be my timing. Yeah, I know, and the, the timing differs based on your distance from the enemy. Um, so it's like, sometimes I think I might just freeze the uh, octopus boss too early or too late, where it's um, you know a little too far away from Mike. And uh, that will affect like how quickly I can attack the boss, but I don't know, I've been working on it. Yeah, you can definitely notice a difference. Sometimes when I have the, the fastest rate going in a nice combo, um, I'll, I'll just, I'll start to get, uh, too antsy with it, and I'll speed up, which will, like, cause me to miss a hit, and then Mike starts, like, stuttering his hits. I don't know. It's weird.
That was almost too early. Well, I tried. We'll see how much HP is left. I think it was like four or five hits away. Um, I think the closest I've gotten is like two hits away. So I, I think I might just be going a little too slow. I'm not sure.
Or it could be that I'm not starting to attack as soon as I unpause. Because a lot of the time I'll pause when I'm jumping left or right, so when I unpause I have to turn to face the boss, so maybe I just have to do that faster. Yeah, yeah, I think that's it. This first mini dungeon is like the most random nonsense. Sometimes it goes great, other times it's a nightmare. Oh, I like that pattern. I'm so honest and cute too. I don't understand why the guard won't let me out of this city until I talk to this sleeping girl who don't who doesn't respond to anything you say anyway. There are some backtracking moments in this game that just have me scratching my head.
I got stuck. Crazy dogs.
going so well. I forgot to split. Whoops.
Yeah, I have a... Uh, I have a skill of just, uh... Picking up constant stars and never any hearts. Enemies only drop hearts if they hit me at least once.
is so bad. Of course I would lose time on the whale. Thank you. 
Yeah, it's, uh, it's still alive. I mean, I, I could see a PB here, but it's, uh, it's getting kind of shaky. I don't know why he lunged forward twice like that, that was weird. I'm, I'm not very good at the quick kill on him, but I've noticed that a lot of the time for me it just doesn't matter. Like, he doesn't follow the rules of uh, what I see happen in other people's attempts. I don't know, I'm probably just doing it at a different time or something.
One thing I didn't know that I learned from, uh, I think it was Drifting Skies, is that, like, um, I used to just keep shooting him when he was doing his falling animation, because I really dislike the boss and want to shoot him as much as possible. Apparently that makes it take longer for him to fall down, so that was interesting. Five hands. Uh, the hands have a 50% chance of uh, happening, so I would say the average is four, so that you have to hit them four times. That was a pretty good run. That was a pretty good run for me. God, and that puts me less than 10 minutes away from you, Zoda.
sound effect. Yeah, that's really the only glitch or skip in the game, is um, just damage boosting through the first boss. And it really only saves, I don't know, 5, 6, maybe 10, or maybe 10 seconds at most. Like, it's not... Most of the game is just um, played pretty straightforward. That credits glitch is really the worst, because I think the credits with the music is just so good. It is kind of abnormal for there not to be too many ways to break this game. Well, actually no ways to break the game. Um, Although, like, Super Mario Bros. 1, uh, I, well, I guess there is a wrong warp in that game, but um, if there is anything in Star Tropics, it hasn't been found yet. Zoda, do you know um, how exactly the credits glitch works? Because I was thinking about how funny it is that the last boss has a direct skip to the credits. Um, and if it could be pulled off in other places, it would considerably shorten the game. Like, I know it has to do with the number of uh, 
little enemies the last boss spawns, but why of all places does it uh, warp you directly to like the first frame of the credit sequence? Like I don't, it's just very odd. I mean, it's just, it's pretty convenient that the last boss can possibly glitch you to the credits. Imagine if that glitch sent you back to, like, Chapter 6 or something. Like, it could send you anywhere. It chooses to send you to the very first picture in the credits. Very weird. <laughs> 